Hello, my name is Ramo and I am speaking from Sri Technologies. Today we are going to learn about the smart attendance system which provides student safety features using artificial intelligence along with 14 essential modules. If you look at the screen, the attendance count is currently zero. I am showing this on our display before taking attendance. Once we take attendance, we will observe the changes in the system. Here is the device, right? where I have registered some users. After taking attendance, messages are immediately sent to the respective mobile phones in the form of SMS. Assume that these mobile phones belong to parents and these are their student RFID cards. First, I will demonstrate how attendance is recorded. This device allows attendance registration in two ways. One is face recognition and the other is RFID card. Okay, as a student, I will register my attendance using this device and verify if the messages are sent correctly or not. As you can see, the device has acknowledged with a thank you message. The device has acknowledged with a thank you message. Next to the device, we have four parent mobile phones. The device sends an SMS notification to these mobile numbers. Our servers has a refresh time of one minute, meaning that even if 100 or 1000 RFID cards are scanned within this time, the messages are sent instantly to all registered mobile numbers. Some might assume that the messages are sent one by one, but in reality, all messages are delivered at once. Now let's check the whether the messages have arrived or not. Looking at one of the parent mobile phone, we can see an attendance alert message. Dear parent, your words attendance has been recorded. This confirms that the student has reached school or college safely. Next, I will demonstrate attendance using an RFID card. I will place the card on the device and we hear a thank you confirmation. Thank you. And we hear a thank you confirmation. Now let's check the if the messages arrive on the respective mobile phone. Similarly, I will scan another three RFID cards one by one. Let's see the each mobile whether the SMS have received or not. Let's see the first mobile phone. Attendance alert message. Dear parent, your words attendance has been recorded. This confirms that the student has reached school or college safely. Confirming that attendance was recorded successfully. Now let's check for the second mobile whether the message have reached or not. As expected, the message have arrived. See here, attendance alert message dear parent your words attendance has been recorded okay this confirms that the student has reached school or college safely let's check the third mobile phone message as expected the message have arrived see here attendance alert message dear parent your words attendance has been recorded this confirms that the student has reached school or college safely confirming that attendance was recorded successfully so coming to the laptop screen previously we checked that the software where all attendance count were at zero after refreshing the screen we can now see the attendance has been updated initially the dashboard displayed zero by zero but now it's showing four indicating that one face recognition entry and three rfid card entries this confirms that the attendance has been recorded successfully. Coming to the software section, these can be the best user friendly interface. These are several modules in our software. Let's discuss this all modules in shortly. By clicking on dashboard, three pie charts were opened and this indicates student attendance, staff attendance and mobile app users for clear visibility. Scrolling down, we can see total number of users, total number of classes, sections, biometrics, 
just down we can see transportation details and fee management details and the next is admin settings this option is only accessible and visible to who is the administrator of the school and the next is time and sms policy which helps in defining in time out time and late timings for different sessions in the school some sessions like morning session afternoon session for example primary school children leaves more earlier than higher classes and the next is absent sms settings this is used to send automate absent sms for the different time sessions next classes it shows how many list of classes are there in our school and the next is sections we can create the n number of sections under the classes like first a first b second a second b and the next is holidays as a admin when you add holidays at the beginning of a new month absent sms will not be sent to parents on those days and a separate holiday column will be added to the attendance report and the next is admission inquiry if you are promoting your school on your website or social media you can use this form to collect parent inquiries about admissions these will help with future follow ups okay and the next is students first one is import students here you can import bulk students data at once within a click and the next is list of students here we can filter the students list from various classes by class name section name gender admission number and uh, mobile number time policies and keyword add student we can also add the student data by individually if need and the next daily attendance this feature is used to track student attendance class wise on a daily basis here you can clearly view student details including login time log out and late arrivals and seeing mark as present option if the attendance is not marked for any reasons you can manually update it by selecting the student and the next send absent notification this can be used to manually send an absent notification to a student and the next monthly attendance this feature is used to track student attendance on a monthly basis in the report you will see three notations that h indicates a holiday p indicates present a indicates absent you can also search for a student by using the search bar by here the report displays student details and the next followed by numbers from 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 up to 28 so it represents the complete days of the month as february month will have only 28 days okay you will see three key time records one is login time log out and total hours total hours indicates how many hours the student was present in a school similarly you can view the attendance records of all students in a school you will find total number of working days total number of present days total number of absent days total late present days and attendance percentage okay i hope you now have a clear understanding of this report and the next is attendance summary here you can view the overall class attendance data wise in a pie chart format displaying the present absent and late percentages for better understanding you can also export this report as a print or print it as needed and the next is leave management students can apply leave through the parent mobile app once the admin approves the request the student can take leave and the next module is student performance report this generates a comprehensive report for a student over the entire year including attendance record examination details and fee information it provides a clear overview of the students activities throughout the year and the next module is staff so it display the staff information so first one is departments our school have various departments right such as teaching department and non teaching department by clicking on add departments you can easily add and manage these departments as needed and the next list of staff here you can view staff members information categorized under the respective departments next is add staff here you can add a staff member by entering the required details and the next important module is daily attendance this feature is used to track staff attendance on a daily basis a report will be generated by displaying staff details logging time log out and late arrival very clearly monthly attendance this feature is used to track staff attendance on a monthly basis in the report you will notice three notations 
H indicates holiday, P indicates uh, present, and A indicates absent. You can also search for a staff by using the search bar by here. The record first displays staff details and next followed by numbers from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to 28 represents the complete days of the month as February month will have only 28 days. You will see three time records. First one is login time, logout, total hours. Total hours indicates how many hours the staff was present in a school. Similarly, you can view the attendance record of all staff in a school. You will find total number of working days, total number of present days, total number of absent days, total late present days. I hope you now have a clear understanding of this report. The next one is leave management. Staff can apply leave through their mobile app. Once the admin approves the request, the staff can take leave. And the next is payroll. Within this software, salary slips are generated for staff based on attendance and working hours. First, you need to create a pay setup for each staff member in a different departments. Assign the pay scale and allowances if applied. And the next is salary reports. After creating the pay setup for all departments, you can generate and provide the salary report for your staff from here. And the next module is fee management. First one is fee settings. These fee settings need to be configured only once. It includes options such as academic year selection, invoice number starting point, payment gateways and invoice cancellation settings. And the next module is fee types. Here you can add different fees available in the school such as school fees, book fees and bus fees. You can also set the fee code, fee name and payment terms with due dates. And the next module is fee structure. Here we can define payment terms in installments including amounts and due dates. Here you will add fee types for all applicable classes in the school. Next module is fee discounts. Here you can offer discounts to parents for lump sum payments such as sibling discounts, spot discounts for full payments or performance based discounts. For example if a student scores 10 by 10 he will receive a rupees 300 discounts instantly. This type of discounts can help in flexible fee collection. And the next module is update student fee. Here you can update student fee details for all students within a class which are declared in fee structure. And you can search the student by these many options. And the next module is collect student fee. Here you can collect student fees by searching these many options. And the next important module is reports. Here you can generate fee payment receipts, view cancelled receipts and access due reports. You can also send due fee notification messages to the students from here. And the next very important module is examination management. Here we can conduct exams from here. So first module is subject. Here add all subjects for all classes. And the next module is examination. Here you can add the types of exams you conduct such as formative assessment, summative assessment, half yearly, quarterly and more. And the next module is instructions giving exam instructions for students such as arrive at least 30 minutes before the exam starts carry your school id or hall ticket no electronic devices are allowed like these instructions and the next module is generate hall tickets the system will automatically generate hall tickets for each student in the selected class and section you can download and print it them as needed and the next module is marks entry enter the marks for all subjects in student wise the next module is Assign grades. Assign grades to students based on their marks along with the teacher remarks. For example, if a student scores between 91 and 100, they will receive an A grade with the remark excellent. This is a one time setup that ensuring consistent grading. And the next module is exam wise results. Here you can view the results of a particular exam. And the next module is general SMS. This option is used to send SMS for students and staff for a general purpose and the next module is homework here we can send homework to the all students in a class and the next module is assignment here we can send assignment to all students in a class okay and the next module is account here we can see the cash inflow and outflow of the school first one is income from which sources we are getting cash flow into the school and the next module is category here you can see the sources of cash inflow and their respective amounts such as school fee, bus fee and tuition fees. 
the next module is add income from here we can add income to the categories okay and next module is list income here we can see some of all income categories in figures next one is expenditure here we can see where the cash is outflowing from the school next one is category here you can see the categories where the school funds are spent along with the respective amounts such as school maintenance bus maintenance and staff salaries okay and the next one is add expenditure from here we can add expenditure to all our categories the next module is list expenditure here we can see some of all expenditure categories in figures okay and the next important module is transportation the first one is school geolocation here you can add the exact latitude and longitude of the school to set its precise location and the next one is vehicle list here you can add all school vehicles which are used for transportation next module is driver list here you can add driver details and assign a driver to a specific vehicle okay next one is route list since student have different bus routes right adding these routes along with the pick up and drop off times will make it easier for both the drivers and parents to track transportation efficiently okay and the next module is assign vehicle to route to driver list here you can view complete details of which driver is assigned to which vehicle along with the vehicle number and the routes it is traveling on okay assign students here you can search for a student assigned route using the available option the next module is attendance machine here you can see how many devices you have fixed to your schools including serial number and mid information the next important module is id card here you can generate id card for your students <coughs> okay and the next one is certificate here you can create certifications like uh, bona fide certificate and participation certificate like that okay in this way you can see all built in features at one place in this software i have covered nearly 13 essential modules which are must required for every school i like this software very much to suggest you and if you want to free demo then call this numbers and visit our website so thank you for watching